Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Makeover Monday. Um, this week there is quite an interesting data set that we're gonna tackle. First of all, I will put all the links in the description for this video if you don't know how to get to the data set. Uh, but this week we are talking about Dark Web Prikes Index 2021. And I have to say, when I downloaded the data set, um, <laughs> I was surprised by how simple the data set was, but indeed this happens. Um, and as you can see, we only have three fields, category, product, and an average price. And that's what we are working with this week. So um, the thing that I thought I would do is what you're seeing right now. So it's a basically a landing page for the dark web. <laughs> so we have a menu and we can select from different categories and I also added the option to click on an item and be led to the Wikipedia page of the dark web. So today I would like to basically show you what I did and how I did it. And this uh, video is going to be divided into four parts. Let's go on with the first part. So the very first part we're going to tackle is how to find a background image. And I have a nice trick for you guys. If you don't know this uh, page, it's called unsplash.com and here you can have royalty free pictures. They're usually quite high quality. You're just gonna type in whatever you want. For instance, for me, it's dark web today. And yeah, you can download a picture. Um, usually you're asked to credit the author and yeah, it's completely free and high quality. And uh, I've been actually enjoying this website. I'll put the link in the description. So the thing I do when I start creating a dashboard and I know that I want a background image is of course to first add the image to the background, just drag an image object to the view and choose an image among the ones I have downloaded, fit it, center it, apply it to see what it looks like. And then I usually adjust the size of my dashboard. Um, I usually like for it to be desktop size as in that it's possible for it to be opened on a laptop I usually also remove the padding and that's the very first part so for the next part we're gonna create a menu and a list of items and the idea for this specific data set was to use category uh, to create this menu and then product as a list because uh, there's some sort of hierarchy products are contained by category. So what am I doing here? I'm basically uh, adding columns to both text and, sorry, adding category to both, both text and columns. And then I am changing the mark type to shape and just choosing its shape. At first I thought I would go for a circle. I actually realized that I like these squares better. And then lastly, I'm going to remove the headers because I want everything to be in the text. So as you see, we have this white text within these squares. So I don't want it to be repeated. I'm just going to unclick show header. So that's for the first part. And the second part is to create a list. So this time instead, I'm going to pick product and again, uh, drag it to the view. Here I, I'm flipping because I would like a vertical list. So uh, product should be on rows. And then I'm going to add a uh, price. Just be aware that here I have already right clicked on average dark web price and changed the default number um, to currency. And I have manually added that dollar sign. So don't freak out if you don't have it in your own data set. Okay, what am I doing here? Here I am with, with floating instead of tiled because um, I want the image to be in the background. I'm adding both the menu and the list to the view one at a time. And I'm mimicking the size of the dashboard. Um, I really like to go on layout and just manually, especially when with floating, you can do this and manually change the X and Y position and the width and the height um, of our sheet. So that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm soon going to remove that, of course, that create a menu title. I'm going to add another title later. And I'm also going to uh, 
change the background color to neutral so to no background color because I want that background image to pop and lastly formatting these little things they always get me confused I wish we could just turn them all off uh, they're nice to have you know these rows and uh, column lines for some graphs but uh, when I do this sort of more creative visualizations I wish we could just have one button to switch them off so I'm in this part I'm just adjusting uh, this is a part that you can do at the very end, but um, I don't know, I felt like in the mood to do it right now. So for the next part, just like we added this menu, we're going to add this list that we created. Again, we're floating, we're going to drag it in, and yeah, we're going to do all the adjustments that we need. I do not want... I played it around, played around with it a bit. I don't want it to cover the overall screen because I, again, I want that image um, to be visible. So you'll see me here uh, playing around with it. You know, you can always, uh, I don't know, this is one of the most fun parts of using Tableau. You can always adjust. Um, you can get lost for hours uh, adjusting the details of a view. So that's what I'm doing here, and at some point I will remove those tooltips. Then, of course, this is up to you, but um, I don't like to have tooltips when we click on stuff um, for other purposes. So, for instance, especially for the menu at the top, um, if I'm clicking on it, I don't want to have uh, tooltips distracting the user. So that's definitely a tip, well, at least for myself. And yes, here you see me struggling <laughs> because I didn't actually select the title. And I did this a couple of times. And I was like, why is this not changing? Um, there you go. I'm applying it, then I'm going back. And then I'm like, uh-huh, at some point this will happen. I remember this moment, uh-huh, now it's happening. So. Uh, <laughs> Little tableau struggles here and there. But here we, we're done for this part. And let's go to the third part. Setting a, what I call a selection filter. This is my this is the name that I gave. Basically, we're going to use this uh, menu at the top to drill down. Actually, not to drill down, just to select. So if I select crypto, I want to see all the products that are under the crypto category. So I want to add something extra by going to actions and edit in the filter. I want for the filter when nothing is selected, not to show me anything. So that's what happens. So if I click twice, so if I unselect what I chose, everything will disappear. And yes, and now for the title. Here we go. I like for it to be white. And actually in my final, in the final shape of this uh, dash, dashboard, I have made the background black and uh, made it opaque. So it's a 53% opacity. Uh, so just for that white to uh, pop out a bit more. Um, I also tried to make the image uh, more opaque with Figma, but I, I wasn't happy with that. So I went for a kind of darker uh, background of the title alone. So of course, here are some adjustments. And soon we are going to go to part four. And part four is actually one of my favorites. This is also another thing I like to play around with. You will see soon. It's another pro tip, I think. And it is uh, how to match colors. So if I choose an image, I would love for the color of the text I'm using to completely match that image if possible. So what I do is I go again on Google and I <laughs> type color picker. Color picker is the tip of the day. Um, what you do here is you have an image. You can even take a screenshot of a page if you don't want to download anything. You upload the screenshot or the image you have. And then the website will propose you some colors automatically if you see there at the bottom. Sometimes I go in and I pick a specific shade of the color, but this one was actually perfect. 
And yes, then I'll go back and I use that. Uh, you know, there's always this option to add more colors. Uh, yes, right there. And I'll just paste the code. And I just love this. Um, I don't know, it gives it a more professional touch, in my opinion, to have the colors actually matching. And I'm gonna use this in several spots of our view. And yeah, color picker. Very, very nice invention, in my opinion. Yes, here a bit more adjustments. And I, I actually chose to have the text of the list uh, match the same color. So again, actually when you add it once, it will pop up automatically. So there you go, I didn't need to add it twice. I didn't need to add the code twice, it was already available. And of course, for the items that are in the text um, mark, well, that you need to do from the sheet, like that. Let's see if I struggle just like before. No, great, well done. We're almost done here. Um, I actually, this is just a thing that I thought of at the very end. I thought, well, it would be great if this page actually worked, but um, of course I don't have a link to the dark web and I probably shouldn't even if I did. So I just copy pasted this URL from Wikipedia and I just added a simple URL action. Um, of course, this is something that you can do from the dashboard. You can also do it from the worksheet. Um, you will go and choose URL, paste your URL, um, give it a name that's meaningful because that's the text that the users are going to see and select the sheet it applies to. In my case, it was, I call it read down, which is completely uh, not appropriate. Um, oh, and here, yes, here I realized that I had turned off the, the tooltips. So of course, nothing's going to happen. I was like, did I add it? I did. It's just a matter of going back, um, going back to the sheet and turn on the tooltips. And if you don't want any text to be there, it's fine. Uh, but you need to have the tooltips on for this to work. So actually I did the minimum amount of text uh, necessary and I excluded all the commands. So going back to the dashboard, now it works. Yeah, so that's it guys. Um, I have to say this wasn't probably my favorite um, data set, but it was a fun experience. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it too. I hope you found some nice tricks and well, see you next week and thank you for watching.